Hi! While it's very important for you to have your own technique, it's equally important for you to know the math behind. Let's take a closer look at the AC way method when factoring quadratic equations where A equals 1. The AC way method is a shortcut in finding factors of a quadratic expression. Say this quadratic expression here, x squared plus 12x plus 20. We can find the factors of this using the AC way method in three different steps. Number one, we need to multiply the A and C coefficients. Next, after the product in step I, we need to look for the factors of that that can be summed up to be equal to the B coefficient. And finally, whatever those factors are, we need to pair it with this expression to get the two binomials that will ultimately be the factor of the given with that expression. Notice that in the first step, we are using the product of A and C coefficients, hence the term AC way. There's actually a play of words here that aside from it being called AC way, it is being called as the easy way for finding factors. Let's use the given quadratic expression here and solve for the factors using the AC way method on these three steps. First, we need to identify the A, B, and C coefficients of this given quadratic expression. Given here, we can now multiply A and C to get a result of 20. That's for step I. For step number two, we need to find pairs of factors that will result to 20. And we have these following numbers, positive 1 and positive 20. We also have positive 2 and positive 10 to be followed with positive 4 and positive 5. Aside from these pairs of positive integers, 20 or positive 20 could also be solved using the product of negative 1 and negative 20. Also, negative 2 and negative 10. And finally, negative 4 and negative 5. We actually have six different pairs of factors that could be multiplied to get 20. The next thing here for step double I is to look for the pair which could be summed up that is equal to the B coefficient. Notice that our B coefficient here is positive 12. Which of the following pairs may result to positive 12? That is actually the pair of positive 2 and positive 10. These are the items that we need to use for triple I step to get the two binomials. And that would be pairing or placing into this binomial expression equal to the product of a binomial expression with the first term x and another binomial expression with the first term x. What we need to do is to take out positive 2 and positive 10 and place it there and you will have your factors. In short, x squared plus 12x plus 20 is a product of x plus 2 and x plus 10. Let us try another given. We have another quadratic expression which is x squared minus 3x minus 10. Again, we need to identify the coefficients and the coefficients of this quadratic expression are these items. Then we get AC as a product of 1 times negative 10. The result would be negative 10. Then let's find out pairs of factors that could result in negative 10. And they are the following pairs of integers. We have first positive 1 and negative 10. Also the reverse signs, negative 1 and positive 10. We also have positive 2 and negative 5 as well as negative 2 and positive 5. 
We then pick a pair that if summed up will result to your B coefficient which is negative 3 and that's actually the pair of positive 2 and negative 5. Hence, we need to place these items into the pair of binomial expressions then x squared minus 3x minus 10 is a product of a binomial expression x plus 2 and another binomial expression x minus 5. But what do you think is the math behind this AC way or easy way method? The math behind this method is actually the factoring by grouping. Let us use the first quadratic expression given earlier. We have x squared plus 12x plus 20. Here, we need to show that by factoring by grouping, we will be arriving to the same results as for the shorter AC way method. The first part of the factoring by grouping actually uses the same concept with the first method in the AC way, but just uses the C. We just need to get the factors of your C coefficient and they are of the following here. After that, still identify which of these pairs of integers could sum up into the B coefficient. And after that, we'll be breaking down the middle term in such a way that we will have two different terms using your identified integers. Hence, we have this expression that 12x became 2x plus 10x. After that, we'll be grouping the first two terms and the last two terms. By grouping them into different terms, we could actually take out a common monomial factor to each of the terms. Talking about the first pair, the common monomial expression that is found in both terms is x, and therefore, we take it out. Instead, we will have the product of x and a binomial expression x plus 2. Take note, that x plus 2 is what happens if you are going to factor out the common monomial expression x on both of the terms. Similarly, for the next pair of terms, the common monomial expression here is 10. And then again, we factor it out. What is left with the second pair of terms would be x plus 2, that is after factoring 10. Do you know that the reason why some of your teachers will just simply teach you AC way than factoring by grouping is that factoring by grouping will take a lot of time because after this expression, we could now see that for both groups of terms, there is another common to them. It's no longer a monomial, but it's a binomial x plus 2. So now, we'll be taking out that set common binomial x plus 2 taking it out what is left for the first group of terms is simply x and for the second is 10 the final factor for x squared plus 12x plus 20 undergone the said factoring by grouping are the binomials x plus 2 and x plus 10 now let us see if we have the same concerns earlier. Let us cover these portions. As you can see, the numbers declared earlier that is actually a similar process in your AC way method are the same integers that were paired to the binomial starting with excess. This actually looks like we are just taking out the factors that could result to the AC product and could sum up to your B coefficient and instead of following the very lengthy process of factoring by grouping, simply place it as paired to these expressions that starts with excess and that's already done. This shows that the AC way method is the shorter process of the factoring by grouping. To further show that this is the truth behind the AC way method, let us have the same second quadratic expression x squared minus 3x minus 10. The process of factoring by grouping uses the same concept of C and taking all of the possible pairs of factors and then 
pick a pair that could be added and result to your B coefficient, which is negative 3. And that is again the pair of positive 2 and negative 5. We are going to use these integers as we break down the middle term as we go through the process of factoring by grouping to show that even if you are going to interchange them, there is also a possibility that you could finish what you're doing. I'm going to start with negative 5 and then plus 2. After that, I'm going to pair the first two terms and the last two terms. We need to look for the common monomial expression for each pair. As for the first, it's the x. Move it out. You will have x times the binomial x minus 5. As for the second term, the common monomial expression is actually 2. And take it out. You will have plus 2 times the binomial expression x minus 5. After this, we have common x minus 5 binomials for both groups of terms. So we take them out. Hence, the factor of x squared minus 3x minus 10 is the pair of binomials x minus 5. And what was left to your previously given expression, x plus 2. Well, we interchanged them earlier. So as we cover the rest of the things under factoring by grouping, we would know that we are just simply using the same integers that is actually used by the AC way method to look for the factor of this given quadratic expression. Don't worry, multiplication is commutative, so you don't need to worry about which binomial is written first. The point here is shown that the AC way method is really the shortcut of the factoring by grouping. And hence, the factoring by grouping is the math behind the AC way method. This video shows that the AC way method is the shorter process of factoring by grouping. And hence, Factoring by grouping is the math behind the AC or the easy way method. This is the proof that the AC way method is applicable in finding the factors of a quadratic expression. Hello everyone, please watch out for more math behind videos.